Our Peggy 2007 Peugeot 207 Missing Lock and Wheel Not Key. I wasn't actually going to film this, but it's more of the backstory is interesting. Uh, this car's been bought recently, uh, and the owner got a slow puncture, and they discovered from hunting through the car, through the boot, through the glove box and all that, that there was no lock and wheel nut key. Now that's a thing like this. This, this, this is a different style. This is for something else. It's one I happen to have in the garage, but. This Peugeot is a completely different style uh, to this. And uh, yeah, so he bought the car without the key, unknowingly. Went back to the guy that they, he bought it off. Guy says, I haven't got it. Can I help you go to Peugeot? And what the guy did was then he went to a local tire place, place that sells tires and stuff like that, who normally do that type of thing. And uh, they said, Peugeot, don't touch him. Sorry, can't help you. And I was, I was very surprised at that because the tire place that he went to, uh, it's quite quite a big place. Uh, I know the owner myself. And uh, I, was, I was surprised at him saying that. He went to another smaller tire place uh, locally and basically much the same crack. And then uh, he approached his son who works for Vauxhall. Uh, I'm not sure what capacity exactly and he said yes if something they like got comes in here they uh they contract that out to somebody else who comes and lifts the car with a low loader and they take it to a workshop and i don't know what to do so he asked me and i says yeah i'll have a few wee things it depends on the style and all that but you know uh some are a bit of a pig now what we're going to show here is how to get it's that one there i'll give you a wee close-up of it in a minute and uh yeah i know a lot of the guys that watch the channel here yeah the makes and the ends and the samens and boys like that there this is a gift this is one of the easier ones and with not really that speciality tools tools that i've shown before on the channel here i buzzed all four of them off while the guy was standing there watching me and I didn't even have it on the ramp. Now, I've already had this one out. I've put it back in again to show you this. And uh, that maybe help somebody out. So that's a wee, a wee close up of uh, the wheel bolt in question. And that's one there uh, that I've taken off uh, the other one. So I've already had all four off, as I said, and it took me minutes to do it. And as I said, I'm sure a lot of the other guys have seen this style before, and you could probably say, oh, I could just ram a socket on that. Yeah, well, as you can see from the teeth there, I just put a twist socket on it, and uh, we'll just demonstrate that in a wee minute. Replacement bolt is readily available. I'll just grab it for you here. So, there we go. That's a replacement ordinary bolt. That's the style there for this alloy wheel. So, you can't just use an ordinary bolt. Uh, all the way with a washer, uh, you know, and then the hole is bigger than the stud hole. So that's what that's for that recesses. And if you're interested, that's uh, the bag that that came out of. No idea how much it costs. Don't ask me. Uh, the owner actually bought these himself from local car parts store. LS Auto Parts, shout out to you guys who supplied the correct ones. And... Uh, there you go. They're a few pound each, I think. So what I use to get this off is a twist socket. That's what they're called. And uh, it has a spiral. Uh, so that whenever you go anti-clockwise, they only work anti-clockwise, these. Whenever you go anti-clockwise, it actually bites in more. So if you imagine that going anti-clockwise, and that spirals it in. And whenever you go right in, let's see if I have that in here, Matt. Whenever you go right in, if you're really stuck, it'll actually stop go to that stop won't go any further if you get a really really tight one 
it'll go right to that stop there and then as n there's n nothing it, it can do but actually twisted it off now in this case here and this one here as you can see it only just spiraled in a couple of a couple of the threads here so it only just spiraled in a couple of the threads got a grip I, I think this is uh, it may be sort of convex shape a wee bit so it just spiraled in a couple of times and then just buzzed off of the gun so I'll just show you that so what I did was that wee twist socket on the extension stuck it on there give it a couple of wee love taps just to make sure that it's it's square on and uh, got my trusty impact and spun her off. Gift. So there you go. Handy enough. Now you may notice that wasn't that tight because I'd already these off. So this this isn't a, a live uh, event here. This is this is sort of after the event. This is just me describing the, the scenario now that the, the customer's left. And he's left this car with me to, to do other things. He and wanted other things done. So that's when I got a chance to film this. As I say, I did all four. Uh, with him standing there and uh, stuck as, as the new ones in that he got which are there we go and they fit great absolutely perfectly so the correct ones for it there and we'll just give that a tighten so yeah as we all know anybody in the trade lock on wheel nuts are an absolute curse uh, this car was purchased without the key and uh, you know the larger tire company uh, the one I know the owner and uh, you know they're, they're very good for, for everything else I use them I recommend them a lot and I send them a, a, a bit of work in, indeed and uh, yeah I talk to the, the owner guy quite a bit and uh, yeah he's a good lad so I'll maybe mention this to him when I, when I, when I bump into him again and ask them you know did they just blanket uh don't do Peugeots and and citrons or what's the crack or maybe they've had some uh, problems with them in the past and uh they, they just don't touch them i don't know uh so yeah if I ever do uh, chat to them and I'll, I'll pin something down in the doobly do with maybe a wee bit more information perhaps or if some of the guys in the trade uh that watch the channel if if you want to chip in is there is there a particular style on these Peugeots that uh, you know are a disaster and you want to stay away from these here particular ones here like these are these were one of the handiest ones that uh, I've I've done obviously you 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 know I so I guess you could it's in between like a uh, an eighteen or a nineteen mil socket uh, you could maybe get an Imperial or an AF or something uh, and and bladder it on. But uh, these these twisters, yeah, they, you do no damage, and they're good to good to fight another day. Just get that in the vase, turn it the, in the opposite direction, and it'll just screw off, and uh, away you go again for another one. So anyway, that's it for this one. I just have to tighten that up now. Thanks for watching, as ever. All the best, and bye.